this video explains how you can create new uh, JNet or Java project pipeline uh, build in Azure DevOps. So for that, uh, go to your Azure DevOps account and then click on builds or pipelines. And there you will uh, you have to click on the new, and then click on new build pipeline. But before that, make sure that you have already imported the repository. If you haven't uh, imported the repository into your Azure DevOps, you will have to do that first. So you can do that by going to the repositories and then there you can uh, like uh, import the repositories. So after that, uh, come to pipelines and then uh, here you can click on new, then click on new build pipeline. Then you will have to uh, give the uh, here uh, where is your code it is asking. Or your uh, repositories gets. So you can see that uh, it is uh, giving me the list of all the repositories that I've added. So if you click on new build pipeline, so there are uh, different types of uh, servers from where the you can import the uh, code. So you can uh, I've already imported the repositories or get repositories in uh, Azure uh, repositories git. So I can click here. But if your uh, repository is in Bitbucket Cloud or say in GitHub, uh, it can uh, Azure DevOps can uh, pull the repository directly from GitHub as well. And uh, if it is from uh, it is available on GitHub Enterprise Server, that is also possible. Or you can also give a uh, uh, like import the repository uh, from other service, and uh, you can also access your code from subversion as well. So I'm going to choose this Azure repository as Gitus and, and there uh, I have got one JNet project, Java project. So just uh, click on that repository. So first step is you have to basically choose the code from uh, which you want to build the project. Next step is configure your pipeline. So I'm going to use Maven because that is a Maven project. So what happens is that based upon the code, it automatically detects like what is the build step or what is the build management tool is suitable for that particular project. So since it is a Java project, it has chosen this Maven. So I'm going to choose that Maven. And this YAML file is created basically automatically for you based upon the master. It also chooses this image Ubuntu because I want to execute the tests on Ubuntu. But you can give other image as well and then there are tasks. So there is a task called as package. So to save this and then uh, see if we can uh, execute this. So you can see that uh, this test phase is being executed now. It is downloading all the dependencies and then it is executing the tests. So that's it. That's how you can uh, create a Java or Maven project uh, build in Azure DevOps. Thanks for watching this video.